hide in the shadows and long for the light, for I am a vampire imprisoned by the night. The moon is my sun and the night is my day. Blood is my life and you are my prey. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my little vlog, coffee, tea, wine, and life. You know, I wasn't gonna have any wine tonight, but by the time I got everything situated out here and then I had to take a little nap to get ready to come out, I thought I needed a drink. So I have got some vampire wine. Less of a vampire outfit. So this is a Cabernet Sauvignon. I'll show you the bottle in a second. So cheers everyone. I hope everyone is having a great Sunday. This is actually Saturday night. It's almost midnight. So it's almost, it's probably Sunday where you guys are, right? Cheers everyone. It smells devilishly good. Cheers. Ghoulishly good. Hmm. That is good. It's been a while. Since I had that one, so let me show you the vampire bottle. And again, this is a Cabernet Sauvignon, and sometimes some of their wines come with these little vampire gapes. So it's really nice. It's sparkly, and then we get the satin on the inside. There'll probably be another one before the end of the month, or maybe this exact bottle. I still have some of their Frangria or Frangria their um, sangria. I've got uh, one of their Pinot Grigios. I've got another Cabernet Sauvignon of theirs and a Chardonnay. So you never know what we make in appearance. And as you can tell, it's a nice night out here. We have had rain all week long. We had severe thunderstorms last night. The power kept flickering and then it finally did go out and oh it just poured it poured so i think everyone is on their bikes tonight just getting in some of the last rides of the season and the, sometimes the sound from the highway it's like a mile away maybe longer than that but sometimes the sound just carries it and i never know which way my hair is going in my face so anyway we got that done right Alrighty, so my vlog back to, back to your vlog get on track nancy so anyway, some of that vampire wine is going to be making a comeback, I'm sure, in the month of October. So part of what I've done the last two years in October is like every video that I do in October, I try to dress up in costume, have a little bit of fun behind me, whether I'm outside or just in my room with a backdrop or maybe in the living room with the fireplace decorated. But I try to do it in costume or like a Halloween inspired outfit, maybe like some of those dresses that I got from Timu this year. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I wasn't going to do like a little poem or anything at the beginning, but you know, once you start, it's hard to stop. These habits are hard to stop. So I probably won't be doing that every time, but every now and then I might just sneak one in. So what is my vlog about? So just wanted to kind of touch base on some different things. I wanted to show you my 31 days and I took a picture outside today, so I should be able to show you. It's bigger than you would think. It supports the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Barrero puts it out. I got one last year and loved it. I have no idea how I got on the mailing list, 
but I am so glad that I did. And then when I didn't see anything this year, I emailed them in October. I emailed them in October to see if they were having one, and they were. They just sent out three emails, and it probably sold out within two weeks. I ran it through the end of September, and this little baby was $31. There's 31 pieces of candy in here, all from the company that does Ferrero. And let's show you what the inside looks like. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this on camera, but it opens like the inside of the door. I don't know what you guys are seeing, but it's a haunted house inside, and behind every one of those numbers is a little bit of candy. And again, this was $31. Every bit of it went to support the Children's Network Hospital, and uh, shipping was free, but they did give you the offer to donate $2 towards shipping, so of course I did that because I know this costs more than $2 to ship it. They did end up shipping it. Um, if they were running late, they had some supply chain issues, like I think we are all experiencing, so they shipped it. Most people got it like FedEx next day delivery so that they would have it for October 1st which I think is really nice I know when I have um, my vendor ship things FedEx no matter where it's coming from it's always like a hundred dollars plus so to for me to donate two dollars to cover part of the cost of shipping it was well worth it I'm looking forward to doing it next year and they didn't do a Christmas advent calendar but I did ask about it because I just think it would be such a great seller I know all of us that are content creators or even those of us that don't create content but you just want to have a little bit of fun for the holidays with your children with your family and there's so many like makeup and things like that advent calendars that a lot of us aren't into because it's more makeup than we really need but we get it because well it's fun and so i think having something like that with a christmas theme oh my god i think that would be a best seller for them and a lot of money for the children's miracle network hospital so anyway love that so glad i got in on that and from last year like i said i have no idea how i got on their mailing list but i am so glad that i did Alrighty, so back to october so um the first year that started this i was in a wine club sip and saver and they did themed boxes on the different months and so they did one for October that had like um, Chardonnay Coffin or they had all kinds of weird names which just the uh, you know the little bottles and it was so much fun and then they didn't do it last year so I had to go out and kind of get some funky names because I just wanted to kind of have a fun vampire or Halloween themed names so I didn't get to go shopping but I did go online and I kept putting things in my cart and said, you know, no, I'm going to have a good day between. And this was like starting September and I'm like, oh no, take it out of my cart. I'm sure I'm going to go to my local one store. I'm going to have a good day that I'm going to feel like I can browse around in a store for an hour or two. Yeah, well, that never happened. And so last week, wine.com sent me an email and said, hey, we've noticed you've got some things in your cart. How's free shipping? And I'm like, all right, you guys got a deal because shipping was like $25. So I'm like, yes please I'll do it so I already had um, some of my vampire wines I got a wine that I got last year that I didn't open yet and it was a witch's brew so I think that I think it was from Lilina Cellars or something like that so it's going to be an apple cider type thing and I didn't get to fit it in but I might try to do it this year otherwise it might fall into my November wines so I ordered some chronic wine and I got it because of the label so I got two different kinds of chronic cellars this one's got a skeleton i think the other one's got a lady skeleton so i just thought that was fun there was one called juggernaut which wasn't really like a halloween but i thought the label on it was like so interesting i said i gotta get it i got one i forgot the name of the winery but it was it's a merlot and it's the um, i lost my notes so anyway, this one freak show that I got, and I had one last year for that kind of like a circus theme, but I thought freak show just kind of made it nice. Spellbound, I had a Spellbound last year. It was really good, and it was a Velvet Devil. So that's the name of the Merlot, Velvet Devil. And so I'm looking forward to having that. Then I wanted to do some more fall wines. So um, Purple Toad was having a uh, sale. Of course, you know I love my purple toad, my sweet wines. So I've got I've got a sharp apple, I've got a caramel apple, 
and, I, and there was one when I put it in my cart that I got a thing that popped up to get a bottle of wine half price. So I got a Chardonnay from them. So I'm excited about that. One of the caramel apples, instead of getting it in the regular bottle, if I can get this without knocking my guy over, it's in a skull bottle. Can you see this? Specially made design bottles. Now every now and then they've got like Christmas bottles and New Year's bottles with etchings and things and so they'll put some of the wines in there. So I got this one because I just thought it was so cute with a skull and this is caramel apple. So that will be in my November wines. Alrighty so one of my uh, friends here started to fall over so I took a quick break got him situated again. I think he was sipping on my wine. But anyway, so just a few things coming up this month. So I didn't finish my Ipsies from last month. So I will have um, my Ipsy or what they call the Boxy Charm now. So that's going to fall into October. And of course, I'll also have the October Ipsy Glam Bag and the October Ipsy. That's another good book of the month that I ordered. And last month, when I did the book of the month, the books I picked, oh my God, they just sounded so great I said you know what I've been putting off reading and I kind of said it out loud that after I finished that video I was going to get back into reading that book that I started maybe two months ago and I did not that night but the next night so Thursday night after I did that video I started reading again and I've got maybe a hundred pages left of course I only do like an hour a night but I am almost done with this book so many twists and turns in this book and now it happens because you bully someone and, and they don't forget they tell you they did but they don't it's all about revenge on a beautiful beautiful desert island that she lures these girls there too and oh my god this is unbelievable i can't wait to finish it so anyway my goal was to finish this book and then in october I bought these books last year, kind of like one at a time as I had like some credits and things built up and they're from the Alice Hoffman and I believe the one of the movies was made on TV maybe with Sandra Bullock and Nicole Kidman maybe, Practical Magic. So anyway, she's got four books in that series and I was so wanted to do it for the Halloween season but I know just reading half an hour to an hour a night if I stick to that I'm not going to finish so I decided to get another book and so I thought you know what? I'm having vampire wine. I'm dressed as a vampire. Let me get a book that I got from vampire wine last year and didn't start yet. And it's A Walk in the Sun. And this is actually written by one of their employees. So anyway, it's a shorter book. I think it's only about 200 pages. So I'm going to delve into this book once I finish the, this book. So I'm so, so excited about that. Alrighty, so what do I have coming up this month? Well, I've got my normal things. Of course, I've already ordered my October book of the month. It's weird how sometimes they don't do it to the first and then other times they give you like a few days in advance. So I've already got that ordered. I got two books again because I couldn't decide. And it's like, you know, it's like $15.99 free shipping. But if you add on to your books, your next books are only $10.99. So I would rather get it as an extra instead of waiting a month and then paying full price for it. I know that's kind of cheap and lame but that's how I do it that's how I roll alrighty so I got that coming I didn't finish my boxy job for September so that's going to roll into this month I know I'm behind and um, so of course I'm going to have the October the Ipsy and the boxy charm again um, I'm going to try to fit in another wellness Wednesday. I joined another collab which is getting to do uh, like your planners. It's, I forgot what the hashtag is but I'll have that below again. And so I'm going to try to do that on Mondays and that'll be like the kind of like a quick weekly spread. And then I still might do the monthlies. I don't know if I'm going to put July because I think I finished it with June. So I, I might put July at the end of this. Maybe with text, maybe with not, maybe with the voiceover. Maybe not. We'll see how much time this goes. And then I'll still try to do the vlog and just kind of 
just kind of flip through and do a month update on my main planner. I still haven't ordered my one for 2024. They just haven't come. They've got the ones that I like, the big happy planner, but they've only got like the vertical. They don't have it in the horizontal. So I don't know if it's coming a little bit later or if I need to start looking around because I really like that format the best for me. So look at that come in. Um, the color with us, you rock art. I got a little Halloween book. I watched someone else and I the video that I post I will post her name in there she had this awesome this cool cool book and so I had to go looking for it because I found it on Amazon and they had a Halloween themed one and a Christmas one and so I got those ones so Christmas for uh, December I'll do one, one from the Christmas pages in there with that and then I still might try to sneak in a mask Monday here and there as well and then um, about three years ago maybe longer than that I got FabFitFun I signed up for a year and it was like it just kind of gave me trouble um, the first the first box they said I couldn't um, pick my items that it was a starter pack or something so it wasn't as big as the other ones that got it but it still was full price and I didn't get to pick anything and I had signed up for the year and then the next one said send me the link but then it said I didn't have an account and so for like three of the boxes the rest of the boxes I didn't get to pick what I what I wanted so I kind of like yeah I'm not doing this again and so for the last year maybe uh, at least once a week they're always offering me something free this free that free coach coach jewelry or something like that and so this time they offered me a free box and I thought well you know let's do it again so um, it was a free box and of course I uh, sign up for the year so it was like two hundred and eleven dollars or something like that and then when I went to check out it was like they gave me like 99 cents credit and I'm like seriously where's my free box so I emailed them and a couple of days later they said well actually you're going to get those four boxes and you're going to get to pick your items if you have any trouble they said give us give us a call and we will help you so that you can pick items this time and um, and then they just are going to give me an extra box so that came last week and so it's kind of like sitting well sitting with my three uh, wing boxes um, yeah I figured why move it until I'm ready to move it right so I got those oh yeah and then my wine.com box and my purple toad box they're all by the front door so I'm sure when mr. UPS man and mr. FedEx man they come they probably say what is she hoarding this wine for does she need me to come in and help her so anyway we've got that one to open so I'm excited to see how it goes and um, I signed up to get the because we're not going to be getting glossy anymore so I signed up for the Macy's box um, I had to go on a list and I think I need another quick break so that's probably telling me that I've been talking a little too long when I start to lose my voice so anyway we're going to try to move this along I mentioned the Fab Fit Fun so I'll be doing that in, in October um, the Macy's box isn't going to start till next month and then I wanted to add something else that to be a little bit different not sure if it's going to fit into this month or if it will if I'll start it in November or December but I think I'm going to add some taste testing maybe some weird stuff maybe some normal stuff just I, I just haven't had before so I just thought those are just kind of some fun things to look forward to and I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in but you know what I kept forgetting to do this last year as well so I'm gonna put my books aside and we are going to open number one and see what I've got in my 31 days of Halloween this is big I wanted to save the box that I got last year it was a huge box plenty of foam that was inside um, I opened all the doors really carefully so that I could reuse it but then it's like what am I gonna put in there so yeah I ended up throwing it out probably in June so um, but let's look for door number one and see what we've got and I have got Hey man, let go of my Butterfinger. So a fun size Butterfinger candy. I do love Butterfinger candy. And you know, I think this goes with Cabernet Sauvignon as well. So I want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes or an hour out of your day to spend with me. It means so much to me. I appreciate you guys more than you know. I'm hoping you're ready to have a fun October with me. And uh, yes, yeah, so I hope you leave me a comment. Give my video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, 
please hit that little subscribe button over there i would love to have you come back and join us for future videos <sighs> take care everyone stay safe be kind be happy enjoy life have some fun love you guys so much and we will see you in our next video so here is the Ferrero the 31 days of Halloween this awesome countdown event calendar and it's they made it for the Children's Miracle Network hospitals and for a donation of $31 um, you get this awesome um, advent calendar it did sell out fairly quickly um, shipping was free but you could offer also donate two dollars to go towards the shipping so i was happy to do that because you know shipping is not free so any extra money that could go towards the hospital was great so this is what the outside looks like and this is what it looks like when you open it so the center section there with all the haunted house decorations there's a treat behind every number for 31 days one side you have this the inside of the house with the windows, the door, the pan across, and there's the other side. So just a fun advent calendar for Halloween. So I am so excited I was able to get it again this year.